thank you for joining us for a discussion about the do's of starting a business. My name is Janelle Morton, and I'm the Center Director of the Southern Arkansas University Office of the Arkansas Small Business and Technology Development Center. I'm joined by our business consultant, Kristen Cribb. Today, we want to go through a list of things that we suggest you do as you consider starting your business. Kristen, would you start us off? So the first do, consider risk versus reward. Business ownership is a balance between the reward of success and the risk of failure. So each individual must define success and consider how much risk is tolerable. Another very important one is do take time to write a good business plan. It is very important not to skip this step or rush through it. The time you spend planning before you open your business will pay off in the long run. Developing a business plan, which includes financial projections, is essential in determining the feasibility of your business idea. The next do is part of determining feasibility. So do determine whether or not your business idea is feasible before going into business. Have a clear, defined target market. Understanding your potential customers will help you in determining the demand for your product or service and enable you to develop a more successful marketing strategy. Thanks, Kristen. Okay, three very important items uh, that she just went through there. Another do is, do understand that starting and operating a small business is extremely time consuming and can be very stressful. Also, do keep in mind that a new business can be very demanding on your personal financial resources. If you're having trouble making ends meet personally, starting a business will likely make the situation worse. Remember, the new business owner is the last person to get paid and often does not get paid. Do be prepared to use your own money to start your business. Most businesses are started with money from personal savings, family, or friends. Keep in mind that lenders are usually not willing to loan you all of the money needed to start the business. And another important financial do is do pay your taxes. State and federal tax agencies give heavy penalties for late payments and can file liens, seize assets, or even close the business if taxes are not paid. And as a business owner, you must be knowledgeable about your tax responsibilities. Do have your bookkeeping system in place before you open your business. Consider working with your accountant to help you establish that system. Do determine the types of records that you will have to keep for tax purposes, as well as for management control before you start the business. Speaking of taxes and the government, another do is do understand the government regulations that affect your industry. OSHA, the EPA, FDA, DHS, etc. as well as the cost associated with complying with their rules and regulations. As you can see from this list of do's, a small business can benefit greatly from the right team of advisors. So one final do is do consider working with professionals such as an accountant, bookkeeping service, and an attorney as part of the cost of doing business and include those costs in your budget. Most people who avoid the expense of using professionals for specialized services, they make mistakes that cost them both time and money. So thank you for joining us for this discussion. And remember, if the ASBTDC can assist you with starting your small business, please give us a call. We want to see you succeed.